Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we've My Hero Academia today. Bakugo in his winter suit. So, landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So we're gonna start with his eyes. So, center point of my page about here. We'll go up, over to the right hand side and we're just gonna start with like a tick. Go in diagonal, just like so. Off like that. And some of this goes underneath hair, so you don't see all of it. But the other side, the other eyelid comes down just here. And then we'll bring it across and then up into here. You can bring those together if you want, but I'm gonna leave that gap just because there is hair and stuff here. We might have to go over and erase some, but that's the general shape for his eye. So then his iris, just in here, so we got like a long, sort of slender sort of eye, like this, just in there. Now they, there's a gap usually in My Hero Academia, well in back of those eyes anyway. And then here we have his pupil. So small, sort of intense looking eye. And if you want, you can thicken up some of these lines just to make them stand out a little bit more. Like so. So, other eye, same sort of thing. Tick. So don't worry if they're not exactly level or even. He's got fairly intense look on his face, so they kind of, you know, they kind of get a bit, one eye can be bigger than the other, or, you know, higher up, stuff like that. So, you know, he could have a tilt on his head or something. So then the bottom eyelid comes down, like so. And up into there. So we could join these. Like so, and then his iris. So again, two lines that don't meet in the middle. You could join them together if you wanted but I'll just do it as we see it in the anime. And then his pupil, inside there. So his nose, so we don't see much of a nose, he just has these sort of uh, vertical sort of hatching lines coming down like that, sort of in the middle of his face. And his mouth then, so he's open grin grimacing his teeth, right? So just here, I'm gonna go across like that and make it look like he's real grumpy. <laughs> At first, he's always grumpy, but anyway. Um, just like this sort of curved mouth, but then we're gonna open it up, right? So we're gonna bring it down to there. Down the other side. That This side's a bit skinnier than this side. And then we'll just move over underneath, like so. Right. Now we're gonna give him teeth inside. So we got like a curve line here, like so. And then on this side, similar sort of thing. So goes sort of up there, over to that side, and then there's shadow in here. So, and then, so lines just for teeth inside here. So we got like these sorts of texture sort of, you're not like trying to define each tooth or anything. You're just adding these sorts of lines coming down around, kind of like that. 
and then we can see his gum line on top. So just starting underneath his nose. So we just have bumping sort of line just for his gum line. And these can be pink or black. It's kind of up to you what way you want to do it. So if it's manga style, you'd color them black. If it's anime, you'd color them pink. I'll leave them white just because I might color them pink afterwards. Okay, so his chin. So in general, we can't see his chin because in his winter suit, right, his, his suit kind of covers the bottom of his face. So like that suit, say there's like a curved line here and it comes down the center. And then a curved line here comes across again like so so this is like the color of his suit right so instead of a chin we just have this okay so in way of proportion of things distances so I would say eyes to top lip is about the same as top lip there just to his collar. So here to here is about the same as here to here. Right? Eyes to top lip, about the same as top lip to the collar there. Approximately. Right, so then what we can see of the jaw coming out the side of the collar here comes out there. And then this side comes out here. And we're going to travel up his face. Side. Like that. So then we can see just his mask just coming across his nose in here. So do just comes across this way. Down. Coming across here, and it'll go like underneath his face, both sides. And then we got those spikes on the bottom. Like so. And we'll just, we'll give his eyes some sort of stress lines and stuff coming around. And some maybe going around his nose. Of course, he's a lot of hair coming down over this, so. You don't need to worry too much about that. So then we can see just some of his neck coming down in in behind his collar here and the rest of that collar. So neck, 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 neck underneath there and maybe here. And there might be some hatching sort of lines just down here. And then this collar comes up and it goes around the back of his neck and down this way. Same on the other side, pretty much. So around like the back of his neck, down here and down like so. Right, so hair spikes, right? So he's got like one big one, like right in the middle of his face, right? So we go. So back of those hair is kind of complicated. It's a very particular type of hairstyle. So take your time with these hair spikes. And if you go over the eye lines, you can just erase those. Spiking like so. This one kind of comes over his eye now, so like comes down to there. Like so. 
some smaller ones here. And then we could see some of his ear, so like in behind some more sort of layers of hair. So we've got like another few hair spikes here. And then his ear will come down sort of here. Like so. And we could see some bones and ligaments and stuff inside. Finish the that's his fringe pretty much done on this side, so we'll finish it over over the other side. Spiking up like so. That's what we got so far. And down. Up. Do, do, do. Like this. And then some that cover his ear, so like his ear comes up this way. And then there's some, just like this, that cover this ear here. Like so. And then we'll bring this out in and then around into there. More bones and ligament lines inside. Like that. And then we add more hair spikes coming around his head. Some of them are small, some of them are large. Kind of varies. Like this. And we're gonna go all the way around to the other side. Some of them might get cut off the top of my page. But if you broom, you just add more. So just there, that goes off the top of my page. But as I said, if you have more room, you can just add loads more spikes just coming in. And it'll come back in around somewhere, like maybe here. No, you might have some ones sticking down, sort of just on the top here. down the other side now. lines here and like another sort of there's some layers of ones that like you know stick up like right in the middle and stuff like that so um, and like 
think so. maybe some behind his ear as well actually yeah and some on, behind his ear on this side as well And again, you can have some sort of here. Just like texture lines and stuff. Some extra spikes on the inside. Kind of like that. Right, so I'll just erase some of these lines that we shouldn't see for his eyes and stuff. Okay, so let's see. So we got um, those sort of boxes that stick off his shoulder here. One coming out like so, two lines, like that sort of a box. And then this comes down pretty straight down to there. Okay, and then the other side of that comes down like here, around the bottom, just there. And then he's got those circles or holes inside them. And they have shadows inside. Just do these sort of half moon shapes. And these are just black inside here. Like so, we do the same thing over the other side. So we've got like about the same level. Sort of rectangles. Coming down like so. Again, we've got those sort of holes. One, two, three, and then we put the shadows inside. Okay, so shoulders then. So basically, out, down. And similar on this side. So it comes out, maybe a bit of a bump here on this one. Out, down. And on this side, uh, less on this side, but we can see like sort of these, a hole sort of on this side. Can't see as much on the other side. You, maybe you could see one sort of sitting on the edge here like that and these are shadows inside them as well and his shoulder goes down that way and the rest of this collar sort of comes down like so and then it comes across underneath those X's so he's got like an X right here so going down that way and Going down that way. It's like a big red X. Like so, and then, so the collar then comes around each side, up into here, like that, and more circles inside here. So Two on each side. And another circle inside each one. Covered in black. And 
and some on his shoulder as well. So. And there could be some lines just for his like armpits just here, or at least some fold lines. They might not be actually armpit, but some fold lines and maybe the center of his chest just there. And then we got to do those exploding spikes that come out from the side of his head, right? So coming out just from, say, here. like this and there might be those orange lines around them as well and then these will come outside of his head I'm gonna say we'll go this way really big up there and then another one go off the top of my page that way and you add an orange line around as well off up there and you can do something similar on the other side or we'll attempt it anyway this one seems to be a bit longer So it seems like you can do them different sizes on each side of his head if you want. Um, but that is the main idea, how to draw Bakugo in his winter suit. Hope it's helpful guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.